Capricorn, Kate Pisces from KatePisces.com, and I'm here with your October <laughs> Love Edition Love Scope. Tripping. Okay, so let's just get it started. Um, what do I feel about y'all? Okay. Capricorn, I kind of feel like um, what's going to happen is this month, going into November, second week, I feel like you're going to be preparing somebody for something. What I see is some of you guys making, like having a talk with somebody about either separating or getting together, or maybe even both. Maybe two different people, but I just feel like there's going to be something like you're coming on making a decision about what you're going to do, about something that could have been long term, but it just don't feel like it's right for you. I feel like you are at a crossroads, but you know what you're going to do. You may be kind of indecisive, some of you, about how to do it because you feel like it's going to be an issue. But I feel like um, it's a hard decision and you're going to make it, but some people are going to get hurt. And I just kind of feel like um, you are going to go ahead and just shake your head and let it go. Okay. So if you're dating a Capricorn, ooh, sorry. Let's just do some cards on y'all, what I feel about it. What else is it, okay? Mm. If you're in a relationship and you have children with somebody, there may be somewhat of a fight. Your mate may try to use kids against you in some kind of way, but I'm gonna tell you right now, damn all that. It will about using no kids against you. And don't stay with somebody because of kids. If you stay with somebody because of kids, what for? Because you turn around and what happens is, is that you're miserable as hell. So your kids see you miserable as hell. So why the fuck? Oh, I'm sorry. Why the fuck would you be in a relationship with somebody where you're miserable? Fuck that. <sighs> Y'all. Okay, so the cards. Five of Cups reversed. Seven of Wands. Okay. The Empress. And the Hierophant. So I feel like with these, um, like I said, with the Five of Cups being here reversed, I really feel like you know that it's time to go. Maybe you just tired. Of, maybe you've been grieving on this for a long time over the decision about what you're going to make, how you're going to make it with this person or your relationship or whatever. Or it could be a family. Or it could just be you deciding to go your separate ways with somebody, a job, whatever. And you may feel like you're, however it is, you feel like you're leaving somebody in a bad way. But I tell you what, they're going to fit. They're going to be better with time and I feel like you've been wrestling with yourself with a decision when I feel I kind of feel with these two you've been wrestling with yourself with the decision you know it's a bad decision for somebody else you making a decision is going to be bad for somebody else but for you it's something that you need to do and I feel like it's just enough is damn enough and it's time to hit that road jack really with the Hierophant and the Empress here I kind of feel like in some kind of ways there may be another person that could be this motivation to this breakup or it could just be you deciding that this is where your happiness is, male or female, don't matter to me. Um, just coming out of this thing, okay? With the Hierophant, the relationship may not be the one that was for you. You may feel like in some ways you could be making a mistake by walking away from something, a job, money, whatever, a relationship. But you're not making a bad decision. If you feel fucked up about it, then it's time to go. I'm sorry. <sighs> mm. Damned if I do. So, um, let me see, y'all. What is it? Um, okay. Okay. So, the outcome will be well, but you just have to make your decision, stick with it, and just do it. Don't let it fester and don't let it stress you out. Just do what you gotta do. All right, cat. K Pisces from kpisces.com. Check me out for a tell in the whole spot reading. No lies, no lies, no lies. Honey, you want lies? Look at the mirror, because I ain't got nothing for ya. All right, y'all.